Hi, welcome to episode 6 of the Yarn Lovers podcast. I'm your host, Lindsay. You can find me on Ravelry as Cali Astra, and you can find me on Facebook, Twitter and Plurk as Yarn Lovers. First of all, I would like to give a shout out to the three people who introduced themselves this week in the uh, Ravelry group. They are D. Pulliam, Sheepy Knits and Happy Cooking. Thank you very much for introducing yourself. If you've not already joined the Ravelry group, then the name is Yarn Lovers. Uh, please do so, it's nice to, to hear from people. Hey, what have we done this week? Um, it's the first day of the Easter holidays. Um, so this week was the last week of term, the uh, spring term. Uh, we're into the summer term in, in two weeks' time, so the little ones now uh, on holiday. The weather was stunning this week. It was um, 26, 27 degrees Celsius all week. Um, of course, today was the first day of the holidays and it's now 10 degrees and apparently it's going to snow on Tuesday. Uh, so we went to the park a lot and there were a lot of uh, ice lollies and uh, running around getting filthy. Um, I may post a photograph of my five-year-old at some point. He's just absolutely covered in ice cream and dirt. He'd been sitting in dirt over himself as he'd been digging up at the park. Um, apart from that, I don't think we got up to much. It was just the general, you know, transporting to school and back. Uh, my partner was working from home all week, but was working during the night, so um, I didn't see him much. He was getting up. 4 or 5 p.m. and uh, going to bed at 8 o'clock in the morning when I was getting up. Um, next week should be pretty much back to normal again, apart from having everyone home or having the children home from the holidays. Right, a uh, finished object. First finished object I cast on this morning actually. It's a chubby chart. Or chubby cheap, chubby chirp. Um, it's a Rebecca Danger pattern, it's one of the free ones. Um, I was going to make a monster, but I thought since it's Easter, I'll make a little chick. Um, took me, oh, probably an hour and a quarter, something like that. I think half of that was fiddling about sewing things together with beaks and, and wings and things. This is um, the main body and the wings are knit in patterns classic wool in the new denim colourway, that's a worsted weight. Um, and the beak and the eyes are in some uh, acrylic DK that I had lying around labelless. Um, so here we go. The second thing I managed to get off the needles, yay! Is this? It's the uh, Rock Island show by Jared Flood. Um, this has taken me so much longer than it should have had because of all the mistakes I made and had to rip it all back out again. Um, I'm sure if you've watched the podcast before, or certainly from the beginning, then you've heard the ongoing saga of this, but. It's finally finished and I'm very pleased with it. It's pretty nice. Um, I haven't actually been wearing it this week, just sort of round my neck since it's been summer. Um, this is knit in uh, dye for yarn Tusa Silk, um, which is 100% Tusa Silk. In the um, Four Weddings and a Funeral colour, we not Four Weddings and a Funeral, but Four Weddings and a Funeral. There we go. It's a lovely whiny burgundy colour. And I'm very pleased to have that off the needles. Um, it was knit on size. No, I don't know. I can't remember. Um, oh. Second, what are these? Uh, four millimeter. So whatever uh, size that is in US, I can't remember. Maybe six. Um. And that's everything I finished this week, I think. Yes. Right, uh, on to what is on the needles. 
I have not done very much sock-wise. I've got another few repeats done. Um, I've got another inch to go and then I'm onto the heel. And this is the uh, BFF pattern by uh, Kiki A. Stretch it quite nice, that's the little cable. Um, and it's in the uh, nitpick stroll in the pea pods colourway. It's a limey pea green. Um, I don't know why this is taking me so long. I'm usually much quicker than six socks, but mm, I still only got one of the other ones. Um, I've not been in the mood for knitting socks at all. I've been in the mood for knitting lace for two weeks ago. I just wanted to knit socks. I'm now in the mood for, for lace knitting. I don't know why. Perhaps it's because of the weather. Uh, I cast on a new thing. Since I cast off some, since I, I, I finished on my. Well, the storage. This oops, is the serrated scarf by Megan Williams of the, the Stalking It Zombie podcast. Um, I did this in an evening, just a few hours it took. It's really quick to knit up, it's a lovely pattern, it's very easy to follow. Mm. And that is a uh, Nick Hicks gloves fingering in the Bordeaux colourway. And here is a picture of the finished object. You can either knit it as a um, triangle or as a half hexagon. And I'm knitting the half hexagon. Um, I think it's our first pattern. Uh, it's just really good, it's lovely, and it's, the instructions are very clear. Um, it's a series of triangles basically as you can see there I've got these centre stitches marked off so yeah it's good I was enjoying that and then I thought oh no oh no I better start um, doing something to the Chinook show just because you know, I'd neglected it the week before to get the um, Rock Island finished. So let's pick this up again. Hang on a second and I shall sort this out. Apologise for the clacking needles. There we go. That's coming on pretty nicely actually. I'm pretty pleased with that. I'm starting to enjoy it more, I'm starting to like it more. So the um, fans are getting larger and spreading out a bit. I've just changed colour, um, so that keeps you interested going to the next colour. I've only got so many rows to go to the next colour and then to see what it looks like. Um, as I've said before, um, this is knit with two strands. So I've got two balls here. Um, and once I get to the path, the uh, colour change, I'll take this one off and add in another one of these. And then the next one, I'll take one of these off and add in another one of the next colour. So it, it graduates it, which is quite a clever idea. Um, so I'm getting there. I am on... Let me see. Oh, there's the finished article. I am on row 87 of 163. Sounds like halfway, but it's not because, of course, it gets wider. So the rows get longer. Um, and there's also a border, which I'm not sure whether I'll do or not. It's sort of optional. Uh, I actually am wearing the other Snit Picks shawl kit. And I'm wearing the other one, the, the last one that I did. Uh, is that the right way around? Yes. Which is there. And it goes on and on and on and on and on and on and on. 
Very good. Um, it's very, it's going very bubbly, as you can probably tell. Because I wear this all the time. Again, it was knit with two, holding two strands of lace. Wait, it's very warm. I just wander around if it's wearing this. I just, I don't wear a sweater indoors, I wear this. Um, so, it probably needs a wash and it needs blocked again and debubbled a bit. Uh, the edging on this is much shorter than it should have been. I'm trying to remember how many rows short it is. Eight. It's eight rows short. I ran out of yarn, which is really annoying. Um, it's a kit, so you get the yarn with the kit. Um, and I got it from Netflix and I had it shipped to my friend in the States who then shipped it to me. And uh, the, as I say, the yarn was short and I very nearly ran out of every single yarn on the way through. I had to put in the other one early. Um, and I got to the edge and I was way short. So I had to cut various rows out and I was left with about three yards left. So lucky to get it bound off. Um, the issue with that for me is that, yes, I um, could have ordered another skein of the yarn, but I can't have it shipped here. It nitpicks do not ship outside of the US. So I'd had to have ordered it, then had it shipped to my friend, and then have him ship it here. Um, and it turns into, instead of being 4 or $5 for the yarn, it, tends, it turns into being $25 to have it shipped, which is not worth it, because the entire kit costs probably that. Um, I've read, I read a lot of people in that were complaining about that nearly everyone ran out of the yarn. And this kit's not available anymore, actually. Um, I have read up on the other one that I've got, and apparently it's a common issue with that too, is that people just keep running out of the, the yarn. So we'll have to, um, read a bit more carefully and see what people are doing and try and, uh, Move things around, possibly towards the end. Uh, keep colours going for a bit longer. Uh, if I've got enough of them, just another row or two to, to, to make the, the last ones last. Uh, and that is all I've got on the needles at the moment. Now, what's next? Okay. What's new? I got stuff in the mail. Um, put my last birdie out of the way. Um, I first of all, actually, I'm going to do this stitch marker giveaway before I forget because it's not the thing I want to go forgetting because it's the only thing people will tell me off for. Um, if you remember, if you were watching last week, I am giving away these as the stitch markers. And these are for, from Ear Dormant Etc, which is an Etsy store. Um, the owner of the Etsy store, Flancers, is actually a member of the Yarn Lovers Group from Ravelry as well. These, um, there are six of these, there are five with little blue beads. And there is one with a little red bead, which I would assume would mark the end of a round, or the beginning of a round. There's one which is different, anyway. They're fairly large. Um, I've actually kept the, I've got the other ones on the um, serrated scarf. And they're working pretty well. They're very small, so they work for me, because I need a lot of small gauge things lace. Mainly. Um, right, so what you had to do to win these was I started a, a thread in the Ravelry group, and if you posted in the thread, then uh, you got a chance of winning. We had. Da, 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 da. There were eight comments in the thread, one of which is mine. So I'm, I'm sitting in front of random.org. Um, and I will put in two 
to it and January. And that's number two. I can't show you because it's on the screen that I'm my um, webcam is attached to. And number two is D Pilliam. So uh, congratulations if you PM me with your postal address, I will get the sent out to you. Apparently she lives in Virginia. There we go. Okay. Right. Okay, on to what's new. I will send you a little bag actually. It's handy. It's really pretty. I like that. I like packaging. I'm a sucker for packaging. If um, my partner thinks I'm terrible, if we're in the supermarket and I see new packaging for something, I'll go, oh, packaging. I will buy something on packaging alone, which I suppose is the idea of packaging. Right, new this week. I am stuck. I, if you are in the Into the World Yarn Club and you do not have your March shipment uh, yet, then look away now. I uh, would imagine that everybody has because I'm international um, and I get mine pretty much last and I've had this for nearly a week. There we go. So this is the March shipment of the Into the World Club, um, which is Doctor Who themed at the moment. This is the last Doctor Who one. And then we are on to Serenity and Firefly. Uh, this is Saginaw to Clyde Superwatch Marino. It's fingering weight. Uh, and the name of the colourway is Children of Time. And there's 400 yards in this. There is a greyish brown, which goes into a warmer brown. I'm going to take this off. Which goes into a, a almost a plummy colour, reddish plummy colour. And then into a, a purple. And then into a teal. This very nice. Um, I will knit with this. Um, the last, the February club, which the colour wave, which was called Mercy Heart Again, which was grey and red, and um, short fleshy pink tone, and almost a charcoal grey black. Uh, I have completely fallen in love with and I won't touch, I won't knit with it because it's too nice to look at. Um, I really will have to find something very, very special or someone very, very special to give the, the knitted object to, to make me want to take it out of the scheme and ball it up even because I, I don't want it, I want it to look like it, what it looks like. Um, and I've mentioned this before, which is a shame. But that's the way I feel about it at the moment. At least I, I mean, this is beautiful. I just don't understand the process of, of dyeing yarn, and I don't know how she does it, but that is it's just stunning. Um, and if you look at the inspiration picture for it, it just matches perfectly. She's very, very clever. Um, the lady's name who does it is uh, Chris. Uh, there are still places for this club available that she, um, she also does a fibre club, which is very popular. Um, I'm not a spinner, but if I were, I would uh, join the Fibre Club because I've seen the things that people can produce with the fibre that she does, um, and it's very nice. There we go. Right, um, I am bad. 
This is uh, well, survived. This survived yesterday, I believe. Um, this is die for your own fine lace, and it is very fine. Hang on. Yeah. Oh, this beautiful red colour. Um, it looks much more blue on the webcam than it is. It's scarlet, scarlet red. Um, it's 100% superwash merino. There are a. Uh, hang on, I wrote it down in yours. It says in meters in here. It's 1400 meters, which is. No, no, no. 1530 yards. And the colourway is Burning Fire Department. It smells nice. Mm. This is from my favourite Etsy store. Um, I actually ordered another one to uh, I have plans for this. Um, the I'm taking part in a test knit, uh, funnily enough, for the one of the women who one of the women one of the women who die. This there are two of them who own store. They're German. They also have a the purple bricks and mortar store, but they have two Etsy shops: Die for Wool and Die for Yarn. We actually got this from Die for Wool. It says Die for Yarn on it. Um. Has designed a shawl, um, and it's the most stunning, stunning thing shawl I have ever seen. And I'm going to test this bit, um, and I'm going to use this because it needs to be red. I think just looking at it, it must be red, um, mainly because of uh, she's actually knitted in red and looks beautiful, um, and because of the name. That she's given it. So uh, I am going to try doing it in this. It actually calls for a normal lace weight yarn. This is a fine lace weight, but we'll see how it goes. Okay. I was having problems deciding what I was going to knit um, with what I'd ordered. Actually, I keep looking at shawls and going, oh, I want to do this, and oh, I want to do that. Um, and I've got the pattern for the even star which was gifted to me um, by Apple Blossom of the Apple Blossom and You podcast very kindly um, gifted it to me on Ravelry. I'm not quite up to it yet. It's a big knit and so uh, it's very uh, it just looks complicated and it's going to take forever. Has already beating involved in whatever so um, I'm not quite in the mood for doing something as mammoth as that although this shows pretty complicated I got the pattern for it this morning looked at it and went oh um, although after reading it a couple of times it's, it's simpler than it appears and um, still it's not the easiest of things to um, it's not for beginners but it that way so we'll see how we go. I may completely screw it up. I hope not though. Um, I'm not sure what other knitting I'm going to manage to get done because it needs to be done in a month. And it's huge and complicated. Um, so we'll see how we go. Um, at least I have yarn in hand. No, I'm still sort of debating that, but we'll see how it goes with the fine lace. Right, the other thing I got this week, actually I got two two books. I got one this morning, which was the um, a Contemporary Irish Knits book, um, which I won uh, from Metaphor Yarns. And there was a Facebook competition. I, I said in the last podcast, I, um, 
and it came very quickly, it arrived this morning, but I've not really had a chance to look at it yet, so I, it's, it's on the bookshelf, I shall look at it later. And what I got though is this. This is a Loop to Loop Lace by a, uh, sorry, Loop to Loop Lace, more than 30 novel lace designs for knitters by Tiva Durham. I had ordered this from Amazon with another book and I had ordered the um, finishing school and it was supposed to take a week to get here and then I got an email from Amazon saying it was going to take two weeks and then I got an email from Amazon saying it was going to take three weeks and then I got an email from Amazon saying that I wouldn't get it until the 8th of May and then I thought uh, no, sorry, I'm cancelling the order because um, this was being held up because um, the other one hadn't been shipped because they were both to be shipped together. Um, so as soon as I cancelled the order, I pretty much caught this through the next day because they shipped it the same day and I got it the next day. I'm so glad I did that. This book is amazing. I love this book. Um, there's so many things in here. I pretty much want to knit everything in this book. Um, it's obviously a lace knitting book, but there's nothing in the way of fancy shawls, really. Um, it's mainly garments. My son will laugh at me for saying garments. Clothing, it's mainly clothing, Matthew. Um, and beautiful clothing. There are various sections. There is a, hang on, let me check. There's mesh, eyelets, samplers, leaves, and doilies. This is from the mesh one. This is called the Port Colours jacket. I want this. It's really, really nice. The style is very different. It's almost military style with the air plates and those pockets, and it's got a zipper on it. Easy to knit as well. It's a two row repeat. That's really nice. It's so different than what you normally see. Socks in here, um, little cardigans, there's a hat, a hibari and a capulet, um, tunic. Um, I shall show you things that I really, really like. There's, um, This is nice, that's nice. Difficult to see. Uh, it's very pretty, it's very thin. Uh, that's the one I've got marked there, I just put a different picture of it. Oh, there we go. This is called the Rose Trails Boys. There's some pillows there. Bloomers. Uh, let's see. There's the skirt. And sampler section. There is. There we go. I am going to knit this. This is lovely. That's really nice. I'm sure you should put that. Back's clean. Put the front sleeves. That's very nice. Mm. Tiger and snail folk folkloric blouse. It's called. Um, I also like this, which is the chevron and diamond jacket. It's actually got a diamond pattern on the back. Very good. Mm. The designer of this book is very clever because um, but when I think lace, I think shawls, um, that sort of thing. But uh, there's so many different things that you could do with it. Um, 
this thing by shooting in particular is very, very clever. And I really, really very badly want to knit this item, but it would look terrible on me because I don't have the figure for it. Completely the wrong shape. I'm way too heavy. Um, but it's beautiful. And instead of doing a very complicated Shetland style shawl, she's done this beautiful dress. If you actually look at the pattern, the way she put it together is very clever. I'm wondering if I can miss it, get away with missing it for my daughter. I'm not sure she'd like it. I just want to knit the thing. It's, it's lovely. Um, it's all the patterns. Can't show those. Um, then leaves. Various sweaters and oops I'm losing marker shape gloves and there is a shirt or a wrap uh, not terribly keen on that one I've seen better um show it yeah. I really like this this is unusual art deco leaves cardigan The zipper's not right in the middle, in the centre, it's off to the side. Uh, that's very nice. It's fairly formal, I don't know why, whether it's because the zipper goes all the way up to the top. Um, cravat. Mitts. Okay. I want to dolly this section of the vest, which is very pretty. A few scarves and hats and even a bag. This is unusual. But I really like it. It's got this Henri medallion tunic. Um, and yes, it looks very Henry VIII, but I like it. I would knit that. It's almost like crochet, but it's not. It's, it's knitted. Um, and I like this as well. I probably knit this too. This is the hockey tight cardigan. The blue, which is knit fingering weight, I think. But it's fairly small, so it shouldn't take too long. Um, I think that's the last section. Yes. Um, yeah, it's a very nice book. I mean, it's mainly a pattern book. There's not much more in that. There's a bit of blurb at each, um, at the start of each section and about each pattern, but that's it. Um, tells you how she wrote the book, but um, it's not um, it's not a learning resource. It is a pattern book. Um, I'm so glad I got that. Um, hang on, it is published by um, STC Craft. Um, Stuart Taborian Chang. It says. Um, it is $29.95 in the US um, and it's £19.99 in the UK. I paid £11 for it, so you get it on Amazon. Cheaper than $30, I would imagine. So that is Hook to Loop Place by Teva, Teva Durham, which I highly recommend. Right, I think that's it. I'll do a book review of the um, Contemporary Irish Knits book that I won uh, and I'll do that next week once I've had a chance to look at it properly and make some notes. Uh, thank you for uh, tuning in, for watching again. Uh, 
hopefully I will not be podcasting this late next week and then we can get some daylight done so uh, goodbye from once again very dark and cold sorry from uh, me and the chubby ch- chirp um, have a good Easter holiday bye bye